What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over the Flutter widget app bar. So we're gonna look at some of the common properties that I add to the app bar when I'm using it, and I'm gonna go over and show you where to find all the properties and how to implement any of the ones you might need for your project. So right here, I just have a new Flutter project started. I ran the command flutter create and then the app name. And the only thing I added right now to the main.dart file is this debug show checked mode banner. And I set it to false to remove the banner up here. But everything else has been untouched. So you'll see that this starter file has class my app, which is a stateless widget. And if we go below that, we'll get to class my homepage which is a stateful widget. And inside of here, if we go down to the build method, we'll see the app bar widget. So this is how you set the app bar. It is a property on the scaffold widget. So you simply type app bar and then set that equal to the app bar widget. And then inside of here, there are a bunch of different properties that we can add. So they add the title property already. And as you can see, that is simply a text widget. So if we want to change this title, I can remove that and simply pass in a string. So I can say app bar tutorial, and that will come right up here. And that's because I'm running it in VS Code with it automatically detecting my changes. So the next property I want to talk about is the background color. This is a common property that you're probably gonna to want to change. So that property, its name is simply background color. And this just takes in a color. So you can do that as colors dot, and then I can pass in any color I want. So say I want purple, I can do that. And the background color will change to purple. Now we can also take in hex. So for example, I can say color, 0x ff and then I can pass in any color. So if I want black, I can do 0 0 0 0 0 0 and that will give it a background color of black. So you can pass in any other hex codes just like that. But I'm going to leave that as purple for now. The next property is the elevation. So right here you can see there's a slight shadow and that's because the default elevation is not zero. So if we want to change that, we can use the elevation property. And this just takes in a number. So for example, if we want to make it a large elevation, we could say 20. And as you can see, the shadow increases. Now, if we want to remove the elevation, we could put zero. And as you can see, the elevation is now gone. There's no shadow. I'm just going to set that to 4.0. Next up, commonly you want to have action icons in the app bar to the upper right. So you can do that by using the actions property. As you can see, this takes in a list of icons. So we can pass in icons like this. Icon, and then icons dot and I can pass any icon I want. And as you can see, we see the icon up there. But because this is an action bar, you probably don't want just a normal icon because you want to press this. So we can use, instead of an icon, we can use an icon button, just like this. And then in here, we can say icon, icons dot, and pass in any icon we want. And be sure to add that. There we go, we'll format that up. And here's our icon. But the last step is to add an on pressed. So what we need to do is we need to go here and say on pressed. And right now we have nothing that we want to do on on pressed. So I'm just going to make an empty function. But now we should be able to click the icon and you can see it is the default color white. 
and then you can style this icon however you want using the icon button widget styling properties. Now, instead of having this on pressed be nothing, we actually have an on pressed event in here in this default app, and that is this counter. So that method is this right here. So let me copy that and paste that here. So now when we press this, it should increment the counter. So let's give it a try. All right, there we go. So that is incrementing the counter as well as this button. And you can also pass in more icons because remember I said this is a list. So if I copy this and paste one more, and we change this to another icon, you'll see we get another icon. And because we added two, it moved the title all the way to the left. So you can change that if you would like. You can wrap the app bar inside a container or wrap the title, text, widget, and padding or margin and style it however you want. For now, I'm going to keep it like that. So the last property I want to talk about is the leading property. And this is similar to the actions property, except it's only one icon. So if I type leading, I can say icon, icons dot, and again, I can choose an icon. And that will add an icon to the front of the title, right to the left. And again, I could make this an icon button if I want to. So those are all the common properties that you might want to include on your app bar widget. Now, the last thing I want to show you is if you look up on the Flutter docs, if you go to the catalog, the widget catalog, and then if you go to widgets, you can find the app bar widget. And this will bring you to the app bar class documentation. So you can read up here about what it is in more detail. This is just an image of the app bar. So this is what we did. We as we saw, we included a leading property, the title, and the action bar. There's also this thing called flexible space and a bottom section. We didn't talk about those, but they're less common, and I'll show you how to add them in a second if you want to. So if we scroll down some more, we'll see an interactive app over here, and then the sample code for that. But the important part is down here where we can see a list of the properties this takes in. So just like I showed you, we use the actions property, the background color, we use that, and we used a couple other. But we only use, I believe, five in this tutorial. There are a lot more properties, as you can see here. So you can read about how all of them are implemented and what they take. For example, elevation property, we saw that. That is a double. So if we click on this, you can read it in more detail. And it also tells you what the default value is, so four. So go ahead and take a look through the properties on the app bar and use whatever ones that you need for your app. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to use the app bar widget using Flutter. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.